Have you ever wondered how well ChatGPT would perform in a photo battle? There's no chance you're winning this. I mean, I've got access to every photography trick, technique, and style you could ever dream of. <laughs> well, I'm gonna smoke you. Because I'm so confident that I'm gonna win, I'm not only gonna let ChatGPT choose what camera it's gonna use, but I'm also gonna let it choose what camera I'll be using to give it the best chance of winning. Human versus machine, let's go. I went to a total of three locations to see who would perform better when it comes to landscape, subject, and portrait photography. And the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna send it a photo of the location and it's gonna instruct me in as much detail as possible on how to take the photo. You have the choice between the Sony a7 IV, the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Insta360. So choose wisely. I'm taking the Sony a7 IV because let's be real, I'm not about to pass up that kind of power. All right, now I'm gonna send it a photo of the scene and let it choose how it wants to frame this shot. I want you to position the column with the eagle statue slightly off center on the left third of the frame. The church is the focal point, but we'll also use the staircase and the stone wall to add a lot of depth and texture to the image. This will keep the church as the main focus while leaving room for the greenery in the foreground. And what camera am I going to be using? Please don't bring the Insta360, please don't. Um, you're getting the Insta360. Uh -oh. Good okay. luck trying to frame anything solid with that. I actually don't have any idea how I'm going to do this because this is wide. Look how close I'm holding this to my face and how wide it is. That's crazy. My only advantage is that I still believe that humans are more creative than AI. <laughs> so I'm going to let my creativity shine here and hopefully get a good photo. All right. Ugh. This is going to be a challenge. Oh my gosh, it goes down here. Unfortunately, I don't see any flowers. Otherwise, I would have chosen a flower to do this. My turn with the 360. Let's go. So I might actually win this round because the photos turned out pretty good. I'm here at the local farm and they kind of do a pumpkin gallery. You might even recognize the first subject. Harry? No! What are you doing here? All right, so I'm gonna send it the photo of the scene and then let it decide whatever it wants to capture. Keep it on the right center, it said. Oh my gosh, I can't even go that high. First mistake I'm gonna point out, it shows a very long lens, which you can only get tight shots and you can't get any wide shots with this lens, which gives me an advantage because these are shots where you wanna see as much as possible, right? <laughs> All right, I think I got pretty close. Since I'm trying to win, let's switch things up. You will be using the iPhone 15 Pro Max for this challenge. Only one shot, one opportunity. Harry Potter! All right, so who do you think is winning so far? If you think that I'm winning, comment you win, and if you think AI is winning, how about you comment, I am a traitor and I hate humanity. But trust me, the next photo is probably gonna change your opinion. Because this is the photo that I sent AI, and as you saw, it didn't do a bad job at all. But it definitely didn't see the basketball hoop, and I don't think that it will ever match our unlimited creativity. <laughs> and I really think this is the biggest weakness of AI. It's going too much by the book, but what makes photography so fun and so special is coming up with angles and concepts no one ever thought of before. Elegant. And the photos look nice, but a lot of us are not going for nice. We are going for something special, something unique. Even if my butt is visible in some photos, I still prefer mine. So personally, I believe, even though I had the worst cameras, I still beat AI. But I do respect your opinion, and I'm really curious to see what you all think about all of this. Real quick, I just wanted to take that sunset to say thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. It's pretty cool. I love every single one of you. And I hope I can keep delivering quality content.